uh, pretty good. Um, it was not very comfortable at the beginning, but with about 250 to go, I started feeling pretty good and just made a hard move on the back to get the lead before the turn and just kind of coasted in from there. Uh, it felt really good. I think that'll help me tomorrow. Oh. I'll feel a little better going into tomorrow uh, than I did today. Was that your game plan, just to be there and wait till you felt better? Yeah, I just wanted to be, be in contention. Just make sure that uh, with two, three hundred to go that I could make a move and get to the front pretty easily. What do you, what do you, what's your goal for the final time? Because is the only guy who has to stay in the Yeah. Um, just give it all I got. Um, it's my first U.S. final ever and uh, just get in there and compete, it's the, best, it's the most I can do. Uh, is there a particular kind of race that you think benefits you? Um, not really. Um, being a D2 guy at Ashland, I got a lot of experience in a lot of different types of races and could win off of a lot of different types and uh, I'm assuming it'll be pretty quick tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to run pretty fast. and. Um, yeah, but I'm ready for whatever happens. So you with us? Yep. When, when did you join that? Uh, so I signed in um, July of 20, uh, 2015, and then I moved out there in October. So I've been there since, and uh, it's been an adjustment. Um, just kind of doing some tweaking to the form, and uh, it's it's kind of creating some issues injury-wise. I've been kind of banged up for the last two or three months, and haven't strung together a whole lot of training, uh, consistent training, but I still feel like I can compete pretty well against these guys tomorrow. Is there a specific, I mean, what, what changes to your full Um, Basically just stuff to like injury prevention type stuff. I was pretty predominantly four foot striker in, in college and I can do a lot of damage to your Achilles over time and uh, it's gonna make me a lot less injury prone in the long run. And then uh, using more glutes, hamstrings rather than quads to run. So uh, we just got John Pierce, who's our physio now, and he he came up there and he's been awesome, helping us out a lot. And then adapting pretty well to the training overall, though. Has it been frustrating that you're trying, you're trying to make an adjustment to prevent injuries, and then that's sort of what's it? Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of frustrating parts in, in the past couple months, but you know that's all just part of it. I never really dealt with it in college, but. I knew, I prepared myself moving up to the next level that there's going to be a lot of changes, there's going to be a lot more intense and that I should expect some setbacks from time to time. So I think going into it I was pretty mentally prepared for it. Are you feeling like 100% now? Uh, I wouldn't say, I'd say like 85% right now. Um, I'm healthy enough to do all my workouts, all my races, but there's definitely some, I've got like a hamstring issue right now that's not affecting my ability to run, but it is affecting my my energy output and and my my power off of my left leg. So it's coming together though, and hopefully after this weekend, take take a little bit of downtime and be ready for outdoors. Thank you.